I turned my back on my vassals for five minutes! And they're already trying to take over the rest of Scotland before I can get involved! This is unacceptable! Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. It's Real Thursday Strategy, and I'm the Raptor from Saturn! You. We're gonna go take over Scotland! Because we tried taking over Zealand last time, and that went less than well for us. But Scotland is actually in a bit of a tissue right now. So uh, I'm just gonna go and, like, declare a war. Um, conquest of Stalin. It begins! has finished his education in the ways of war. I notice with pride that he's in nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Aw, way to go, Carlos. I'll speak to him in reverence of the wise old men, saying he'd like to be like them. She focused on helping others. What a lovely child. Um, he would become an erudite, which is plus two to learning. Mm, what a lovely child. <laughs> <laughs> All of Wales getting together in Devon. <laughs> and then just, just these guys here from Warwick. <laughs> so she oh! Hi! What are you doing? I will not negotiate with terrorists. A mystic appears. Oh, that's right! Immortality! That was a thing that was happening. Commercial Thorfier looks for lost for words. Mistress, I am not sure what to think. He shakes his head and searches for the correct way to face himself. My queen, she is impressive. I can't quite put a figure on it, not to mention she has traveled far. His face conveys a certain issue in weight. I see, you say, scratching her head. Thorfier breaks the silence. My lady, I will send her away. What say you? Let us hear this woman out. And we're gonna have these guys go to an intriguing encounter. A tall figure offers a nod, but does not smile. She eyes you skeptically, measuring you up as much as you are her. Her clothing, possibly intended to be modest, is foreign to you and you have trouble concealing your confusion. In fact, the warrior woman before you is bound to stand out in your court in more than one way. I am Kia. You are Bodica, she says if somebody had forgotten to introduce you. Perhaps you should have spoken the words first to assert your position, but the muscular woman makes you more a little nervous. I hear you are looking to live forever. She finally says more statement than a question. I can help. I will accept your offerings. That will cost me a hundred piety. Hmm. Um... Uh, and I would become not zealous, and Kilia would like me. This is outrageous! Leave at once! Um, or I could just, like, tell her to go away and lock her in jail. I will accept your knowledge. What's going on here? Our knowledge of Kalia the guy was re reduced to two. Kilia the fearless. Not bad. I like you. All right, they all met up here. March. A serious concern. Tennis Bailey joins you after your circle one evening. He initiates a conversation with the citizens of trade in the realm. Nurse seems distraught. Doctor Bailey and Dale demand to know why he sought you out. My dearest mother. I feel for your life, he says nervously, and seizes your hand. Who is this sacrilegious heathen you have invited to our court? Her promise is a sweet, I am certain, but she cannot be trusted. Please, mother, allow me to find out her true motive before it is too late. And she looks Um, so I can lock her up? I said, um... You know what? Look. 
look into her just to be... That's what I would do. I'm not sure what uh, Bodica the Second would do, but... Then again, of course, my son would be concerned about me not having... Oh, heavens! The Mystic's Ultimatum. You're just about to knock on the door of Achilles' chamber when the door is thrown open. The Mystic's face is hard as stone and her eyes flash. Please, come inside, mistress, she says coldly. It has come to my attention that you have had me followed. She closes the door behind you. You are... You try to reply, but she gets you off. If I cannot teach you, if you do not have absolute faith in me, either trust that I am a loyal servant or send me away. Uh... Nothing else to do. How about the dungeon? <laughs> nah, no, no. I'm thinking... Please forgive me. I must have faith. And when did this get taken over by England? I, I believe I was contemplating that before this whole thing became a mess. Then I was the siege camps I saw Dumbling killing many of the besieging soldiers. That's unfortunate. Why did I send them Yay, we are victory! Cleo sits on the floor near her room, but looks like polished pieces of bones strewn in front of her. She motions for you to join her. You have neglected your spirit, she says, eyes closed. You shift uncomfortably in your seat. I have no capable. Her eyes open at this and she stares at you. A steely cold look and you retreat, retract your statement. You must sacrifice, she declares. Very well, you reply, thinking you'll have you learned what you were going to As if she could bring my condition, she said, You must do this on your own. Do you see what I see? You notice a pattern in the bones. It looks like an antelope. How curious. A field of crops. How beautiful. A man falling. What do you want from me? Pay gold to become immortal. I will be as gods! Oh, there's nothing left there, huh? Alright. Moving onward! <laughs> A bloody mishap. All was well until you tried placing the animal on the ceremonial stone slab and you were surprised at its strength. Moved violently under your hands, refusing to have its neck pressed on the rock. I don't want to do this, you think, for a brief moment as a sharp dagger is handed to you. Now watches intently her stern face with weight of emotion, and you find yourself wondering if she possesses any feelings at all. She carries herself by duty alone. Suddenly, pain shoots through your arm as the flailing antelope bites down hard on your hand, killing your axe instantly and swings your sword at the creature, chopping its head right off. But your fingers are already gone. There is blood everywhere. Blyard and it hurts! Oh, I'm one-handed now. Yay! Yay! Okay, um... How could I know this eternal Temple of Doom Kellen from Tork Hill? So, you took it from him. Excellent. One title can be usurped. Hi, Chieftain of Albany. <laughs> Yoink. Wait, that'll cost me 100 gold, and I will get 50 prestige. Yoink. <laughs> ah. Fantastic. All right. And finally... Oh, right, I have my troops raised. You can't declare war when you have your troops running their doorstep. What do you want? To my sweet, sweet Bodica, your wisdom of mercenaries are You propose that Javard Bards bring the gentle. That Javard Iverson and Gwen Freire, the gentle Mary. So, this dude. And this lady. Sure. Um. 
I see. England took it from... Yeah, England and France are going to be a bit of a problem. But for now... I can du jury ducal claim. Ah, but I have a truce. Hmm, I have to wait that out. That's fine. It gives me time to get things in order. Because I did just take a great deal of land. Um. I'm pleased to hear that I prepared for peace and shrewd management. The county of Vermeil is doing very well. People are happy and the tax collectors are reporting record incomes! Remain <laughs> prospers. Could you could you not? Ah. We're going to have to fix this. I'm going to start antagonizing you, especially because you're a fucking Catholic! <laughs> oh, did someone die? Uh yep. He died. Uh would you be to handle to revoke vassal titles, to meant too big. During the last few days, my son Carlos has not been able to keep any food or drink down. It seems as if he's suffering from food. With you there! I don't have a court physician. You know what? Welcome to the party, Bridget. Oh, key, day okay. I can imprison you. <laughs> I feel like people would like it if I imprison you. Oh, you're the Duke of Connacht. <laughs> Fabricate a claim on the. Yeah. He is now safely locked away in the dungeon, awaiting his fate. Young Scott often speaks in reverence to the wise old men, saying he wants to be like them. Okay, so you're in jail because, seriously, fuck you, I'm trying to- <laughs> Uh, Sogan Unil Nugget has died bedridden and infirm. Well, that's unfortunate. I should have settled with this nothing but a stark raving lunatic. I should have just denounced her publicly and wait for the justly earned praise of my peers. She is a dangerous high chiefess. This is beneath me. Tells you to do a duel. Challenge accepted. Uh, I take it I win the fight? Huh? 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 <laughs> so let's keep going on that. Um, let's see, what's. Let's at least get rid of a duchy. Seems like over forever, the wound from remaining is completely healed. Hooray! <sighs> Scotland is a mess. Um, Carlos, congratulations! You can have. Uh, and he's still my vassal. Um. Oh, she wants to. She wants to marry a ruler. Uh, what other? Well, I want to keep at least one. The Norse cousins and Dublin have embraced the Irish culture! Civilized peasants! Hooray! They are now Irish! Muy blim! Um, okay. Now, what else do I directly own? Not this time. 
I actually just ordered my book. I don't know how can I know if I own it. She will lose 200 prestige. Um, you know what? I am actually okay with her revoking the theocracy. That's fine. You do you, babe. Um, in the interim... Uh, I, I love how I still just have Norfolk. But what's this? Cumbria has succeeded. Well. What kind of... What kind of army size are we talking about here? Hmm? 4,782 is the top league today. Hmm. Become Queen of England. You know, I will more than happily assist you in that if you give me whales. But I don't think you'll willingly do that, so... Actually, how is England doing, anyway? 8,000 troops? Minimum? <laughs> this is gonna be a pain. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that'll about do it for today. And I will see you next time when we continue to try and sort this mess out. And maybe finally take over at home. Do we still have truce? Yeah, we still have a we still have a truce. Oh well. I wonder if we no we 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 have to take it from him. Um hmm. Maybe we can start messing with you guys. What are you looking like? Only a thousand troops directly in control of the leash. Is 1,422? Yeah, we can... We can definitely start to clear them out. So, next time... Claim Ross for Hall of Terracamo? Perhaps! We shall see. Next time. Bye-bye, everybody!